Hi, in this video we are going to continue to explain functions and parameters. So writing a function with parameters is kind of like having a friend who just does things for you. So let me explain this analogy. So let's say we want to talk about a function that builds a house. So on the left we have you, uh, you're in the blue, and your friend on the right. And so you say to your friend, build me a house. And then your friend says, okay, and now you have this awesome gray house. See, the problem with parameters, though, is that you always get gray houses. If you wanted to change the color of your house, you have no way to tell that to your friend. So let's try looking at this scenario again, but with parameters. So you tell your friend, build me a house. But then your friend asks, what color? And you say, blue. And your friend says, okay, but now you get a blue house, which is great. So calling a function is like asking your friend to do something, and passing parameters are like giving specific instructions. So if I say build house and I pass in color.blue, I get a blue house. If I say build house and I say pass in color.red, I get a red house. So now I want to take on the problem of drawing circles. Here I've written code that draws a red circle and sets its position and then uh, draws a blue circle and sets its position and color and adds them both to the screen. The issue with that code, the issue with this code is that it's very repetitive. If you notice, we're making a new circle and then we're setting its position and then we're setting its color and then we're adding it, that code is exactly the same. The only thing that's changing are those specific values. The radius is a bit different, the color is a bit different, the position might be different, but the overall structure is the same. So what if we had that friend that drew circles for us? You would say, draw me a circle. And the friend would say, what's the radius? You give him the radius. The friend asks, what color? And you say, red. And the friend asks, where it should go? and you tell them the position. Then the friend says okay and you get your red circle. The idea here is that your friend knows exactly how to make these circles but he just is waiting on these exact instructions from you. So now let's look at this in a different way. Uh, the blue box represents the draw circle function. We give it inputs, we give it parameters, we give it arguments on the left and out we get our proper red circle. But if we change our arguments, if we ask for a circle with radius 70 and we ask for it to be green, we'll get a different circle. The friend still knows exactly how to make these circles, but uh, our exact specifications are a bit different. These on the left, the things going into this box, are the parameters. So here, uh, is the code for this draw circle function that we want. It's a general function, it's something that we can reuse. So now let's go into our code editor, write this up. Okay, function draw circle and the parameters for this function are the radius, the color, and the x and y position. Now what we want to do in this function is write the recipe. So how we would draw a circle given its radius, color, and x and y position. So I'll say var circle equals new circle and we give it the radius. Then I say circle dot set color and I pass it the color. And then I say circle dot set position x, y. Now I add the circle. This function is written in a general way. It works for any radius, any color, and any xy position. Now that we've written our general function, let's try calling it. So, in our start function, we'll make a call to our function, draw circle. So we want our radius to be 40. If we want our color to be green, let's we'll say red. Um, and we want the x position to be 100 and the y position to be 300. If we run our program, there you have it. But now making another circle is as easy as calling the function again, not copying and pasting code. So we write draw circle. Let's say we want it to be 50 uh, green 
and at position 50, um, 100. And we can make another one, draw a circle, 70, blue at, let's say if we want to center it, we write get width over 2, get height over 2. So there you go. That's how you write a function, and that's how you would call a function using parameters.